Well, the current police chief in Salyersville is determined to have their former chief honored at the Fallen Officers Memorial in Kentucky and Washington, D.C. But the twist, only a few people in Salyersville knew about the fallen chief. That is until recently. Alexa Helwig has details. Chief Watson says he stumbled across some information about Marshall on Facebook. He said he made some phone calls and now this is an investigation. An investigation by the current Salyersville chief into their former chief shot and killed in the line of duty 81 years ago. I've been here 25 years. I had no clue this man had, had died in the line of duty. Watson recently discovered this officer down memorial page online and he was immediately intrigued. Although older city records were destroyed in a flood, one local historian tells Watson he remembers going to Lewis's funeral. It's amazing that, that like Mr. Allen, still still with us and he has all this information uh, because everybody else I talked to, nobody knowed. Mr. Allen was unavailable to talk today, but says that Lewis arrested a man for being drunk in public and Hi. walked him to the jail without searching him. As he was put into the cell, he pulled out a pistol and opened fire. Uh, he died in the line of duty, so therefore I feel it's our obligation to have him put on the, the memorial. A few of Marshall's great grandchildren have been in contact with Chief Watson, and he says he'll bring them to Richmond if he is honored. Covering the news here in McGoffin County from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, back to you.